our son's case was about clinical negligence at birth. Unfortunately, um, he should have been born a long time before he was actually delivered and it was classed as clinical negligence. Uh, it was when Oliver was about two years old. Um, we saw they had a scope day at the Cheltenham race course, so we decided to attend. And you go through, obviously, who was actually there on the day, and we decided to go and see the clinical negligence uh, team's presentation. And from there, we met Simon Allenman and Kirsten. Uh, we watched the presentation. At the time, we were already um, claim going through a claim with a different solicitor. We just wanted to go there for some advice um, and maybe some ideas. Um, and from that, we realised that Wither King was very knowledgeable and um, had lots of expertise. Um, so we asked for a meeting at the end of the presentation to go through our case, because at the time we were told that we could, didn't have a case to go any further um, from an expert report. Um, and from speaking to Simon, he let us know that perhaps that the expert um, wasn't looking at our case solely and that maybe we need to get a second opinion. Um, which we uh, then decided to definitely go with the clinical negligence team. It's a long process, <laughs> don't, don't ever think it's a short process, that's for sure. But I must have worn the phone out, um, just how many times I would pick up the phone and then there was always reassurance at the end of the phone from the clinical negligence team and well, Simon Elliman in particular. Um, so that made things very very easy in that respect so it was always dealing with one person rather than lots of different people um, and um, also um, uh, Simon and would say that actually we'd get more than one report done which obviously sped things up for us so I think we would have yeah. still been going through it now actually if that wasn't the case um, but yeah, it's a very long process and it is quite stressful and emotional, um, but we always have the support at the end of the phone. <laughs> Unrecognisably. Mm. The, the, Oliver has everything he could ever want to make his life as good as it can be, of course. Um, he doesn't have to have everything that the standard services can offer of course we we're able to have much nicer things for him he's got his own therapists in place which means his well-being is so much better he's got a, a lovely new house with all of his own therapy equipment he's got his own sensory room he, he he's just has so many happy days mm. compared to what he used to have but the most important thing is we get to sleep and we are parents again mm. we, we are we are doing the things with oliver that we want to do and not necessarily always the care tasks the everyday care tasks mm. we just get to be parents again which is you can never thank you can never say thanks enough <laughs>